Yeah, no pressure. You better handle this quietly, but we'll back you up if things get out of control. Okay. <laughs> oh, look how close that is. Love it. Ooh. Well, we got two in here. Clowns? I just kind of want to hear what they say here. This is the second time we've heard about something like that. They just assume everybody's a spy? Wow. That's an interesting justification. I'm going for it. <laughs> what was that? Whoa! Oh. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. He accepted my surrender. <laughs> All right, well. Sleep tight. He's lucky I'm the one that showed up here. The Commonwealth of the Stations of the Ringline Treasury to Lieutenant Colonel Taubman, Special Mobile Strike Force Commander. Colonel, I've confirmed the emergency remittance of 6,000 military grade 762 rounds and 200 round belts as per the requisition form 764.35 you submitted. But I must remind you of the imminent consequences should this transaction not result in a resounding success. Your operations, although not devoid of certain flair and thus tending to be reviewed favorably, have been a consistent strain on our budget. The present remittance is an overdraft allowed only due to the credit of trust your record has granted you and will be scrutinized up at the nearest board meeting. I hope you understand that this time you must, or you positively must produce a satisfactory return on this investment. Signed, Voloshkovsky, Treasurer. Okay. So Taubman, this guy has borrowed before, but he's got a good record. But they're saying, look, this is a big deal. And if you're not, if you're, results aren't favorable, then that's going to be it. Whoa. Whoa. We got, like, a few people here. Nice. One, two, three, four, I think, there. Five. They said to keep it quiet. I'm just going to keep going. Not interested. Whoa. They have no idea! They have no idea! 
Whoa. Oh, that's wild. Well, they know now. Oh, here it is. Uh, could you guys fire it up a little quicker, please? Nice. Oh. Come on, somebody. There we go. Hold on. The second time Duke has rescued us that we know of. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is definitely a problem. It's weird with Miller because I feel like, besides the fact that he's our wife's father, from Moscow there's multiple reasons Gaga that we need counters. to impress him. The thing but is, also, I don't trust the guy. In the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander... Whom until recently I trusted implicitly is yeah. going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Exactly. Why the wrong face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's Commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. Oh, look at his legs. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. It's a pretty big and it's one of these thing to keep. That got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, <laughs> check the airwaves. Okay. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of uh, the This is huge. We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? 
There's no way back now. Which means we have to There's do something there. Moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. I'm on it. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? Oh, I got something I here. Not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Wait a moment, what was that? Got it. Listen, everyone. Looks like our uh, journal in front of us. So it is somewhere around here. Yamantown Mountain. So the road from here should go like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. It's a new world. The country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the <laughs> world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So <laughs> no. I think the moment calls what? for... <laughs> Great bring reaction. Out, bring what out, Colonel? Sir, that thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm uh -huh. deaf for what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Thanks, Sounds Ermac. Okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah. I'll tell you later. So Looks like it's decided. Sam's got to be American, right? He's uh, distinctively non-Russian. <sighs> hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, okay. we had a round that should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, full steam ahead. Wow, that that's sure, some distance. I wonder how long it will take. You can resume the journey or continue exploring the train. Yeah, let's see what everybody's up to. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Obviously. Oh, we can even... Oh, cool. We get a chance to chat with everybody? I'll be down. Hey, boys. So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. That's got to be a weird a... feeling, eh, my friend? Yeah, it's got to be bizarre. I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stunken otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. 
Life is weird. Huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, hmm. bottoms up, I suppose. So, how Wise does it words. feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. <laughs> Why are you called idiot? I would like to know what's on the end of Just cuz like that's Look, if there's no radiation, that means we could bring everyone out of Moscow. It doesn't matter if there's radiation or not, comrade American. He is American. Okay. We'll I mean Sounded Why? obvious. We're just a short way from the city. The radiation's gone. Things might have been that easy in your America, but life has never been so easy here. Even now, we woke up saviors of the metro, and by lunchtime, we're enemy spies, saboteurs, train thieves. And what for? Something we thought was true turned out to be a lie. And that is enough for them to want us dead. The Hansa bosses must have known that we could live up here. But the public didn't know that. Who'd want to stay down in the metro if we told them? We cannot tell them if they are ready to make mince meat out of old ladies and kids to keep their secret. Yep. What do you think would they do to you, Uncle Sam? Huh? We can't go back. Don't want to think about that. Remember the jammers? Even if you pull a perfect rumbo and break through back into the metro, do you expect they'd all just believe you and go, Yes, Moses, lead <laughs> us out of this Egypt? Can you even imagine the death toll? Take your average station dwellers. Even if the Hansa guards didn't shoot them, how far would they get? Right to the nearest mutant den, most likely. We are safe here, speeding along on this Eastern Express. They are not as lucky. Not at all. Well, what if there was a proper evacuation? <laughs> and who would do that? Hansa's people? The ones that kept us under lock and key for 20 years? Or us too? Besides, getting the people out of Moscow is not the end of it. You have to settle them somewhere, provide food. No, bro. I do get where you're coming from, but this matter is way more complex than it seems. Idiot uh, doesn't sound like I so much of an right. idiot. All this clean air went to my head. He makes some really valid so, points. Wait, does this mean the colonel was in the know? Zrank does seem to suggest that. Besides, he led negotiations with Hansa. Where would we be without them after the D6 debacle? They gave us weapons and recruits to replenish our losses. We, on the other hand, our competence does not stretch beyond thinking cozy thoughts and keeping <laughs> fools in the metro from killing each other off. Yeah. Remember, if not us, then who? You are too smart for your own good, idiot. <laughs> that is good. I hope you guys don't mind these uh, How far are we gonna go? side conversations because I love this. No masks needed. The railroad runs through the whole country. Hmm. As far as we want, I reckon. As for Yamantau, it's about two thousand clicks away. Now, I mean, how far can we get with the fuel we have? What's this machine's mileage? That. Uh, yeah, it certainly is a coal guzzler, this thing. But then again, there should be coal stores at every station. And if we don't find any, we could still burn firewood. Fair. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Why the long face, Demir? Oh, or not? <laughs> you see, I made a mistake of stocking up on filters. While I could have gotten a whole bunch of MREs <laughs> for the same ammo, or, or a new hazard suit, I wish I'd known there'd be no need for them. I'm sure we'll still the need them. sold them way too hard, that bastard. <laughs> Get them while they last. He even gave me a book as a free extra. Quotations from Charman Mao. Uh, 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 do you know this writer? Uh, Mao? 
Anyway, here I am like a fool with the stupid book and the filters, while we could really use that Milgrade ammo now. <laughs> you, you never know who or what we might meet. That is so. You're not giving the book enough credit. At the very least, it contains a whole world of wisdom on fighting the war against the imperialism. Which we might encounter on the way, even though so far we just seem to be fighting our own. Yeah, Anna's pulling no punches this time. Perhaps she shouldn't have. It, it's not like the Colonel understands everything. Mm, who is in the right here? Uh, whoever's not wrong, obviously. <laughs> well, who's not wrong then? He who does nothing and says nothing too. Very wise, idiot. Give me a break. Who's in the right now? Everybody Could be a politician. And nobody. Uh, I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> That's actually really I'm interesting to hear idiot speak so much. I am bothered when I don't understand. All right, guys. Oh, look at our shadow moving along the train. That is so cool. Andre Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those Jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and mutant migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had came in years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from Iran. Stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. So, how did you like that fresh air? Out of this world, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. I thought I'd ask Yermak about where we're headed next. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, it's all right. Don't oh. worry. There's not much left to tell. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe. But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight. Whoever you speak to, dies. The whole station dies with him if need be. So, that's how it went. Jeez. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Like, good for us that he was there, but also city borders? worked out for him, too. No. Didn't get a chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. <laughs> What a bore that was! Going round and round all day, round and round, and no real distance either. <laughs> it used to take us 30 minutes to make the lap. So I kept dreaming like running on a hamster wheel. How good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia, not to run in circles like, like a rat in a maze. My wife wouldn't let me. We had oh. kids, too. When I start going on about the railroad, uh, about my dream, <laughs> she'd stop sleeping with me for months in protest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. He's like, funny, Tatiana not funny. Moscow got hit by Tatiana and the little Sashenka were at home. I was working that day. Ivishka was waiting for me in the metro, returning from cram school. So we survived together that day. But in the end, I lost her too. TP. Oh. Uh, you know how it goes. So I'm driving here and talking to Tatiana in my head. Oh, I like this guy. See, I say, you couldn't stop me for good after all. 
here I am. The real railroad. A real engineer. Tanyusha. Oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry I got so emotional there. Oh, it's my fault. I'm really sorry. And thank you for telling me. Artyom, look at the map. Hey, no, Artyom. No, 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 it makes there sense. Any music on the air? I can check if you want. There would be any. <laughs> Sam. Well, there just might. Will you scan the air for some? Yeah. I got you. Okay, so we can drink. We've got the book or the radio. Let's check the radio for him. How's that? There we go. That's awesome. All right, let's check our journal here for a second. Okay, so we've got diary. I think we should go through these every time we, it seems like this is probably like our hub, right? So every time we come back, we should review these. So Moscow, when it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we're not alone on this earth? Let's actually, uh, we need to, we need to concentrate. That doesn't help us, does it? Is there a way you can just turn this off? Oh, I see how this works with the mouse buttons. There we go. Cool. Left and right mouse buttons for those directions there. Okay, so diary. Uh, when it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio, who could still believe we're not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the order, my friends, people from my station, nobody believes me. They're sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that, save for us, who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately droned out by the static, but I'd heard it. Which means that someone out there, under the skies, there's still a hab habitable place. We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, nobody believes me. And winter. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they're all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next, and I'm just waiting for answers and hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Okay, so these are like the chapter summaries, so maybe we don't need to review those as much. We have writings about Anna, Miller, Demir, Duke, Yermak, Idiot, Alyosha, Sam, Stepan, Tokarev. What I might do is, uh, I might record these separately and I'll just put up a journal reading about the crew. Um, this is pretty long. New World, Exhibition, and Hansa. Uh, the second paragraph here, as far as I was able to t surmise from the Colonel's reluctant confession, Hansa is the vehicle of the Invisible Watchers, the real government of Moscow controlling all the factions from the shadows. They clearly have too much power to just live and let live, and thus engage in some shady business, including the S.H.I.E.L.D. project, designed to keep Moscow under an impenetrable blanket of radio jamming to prevent further nuclear strikes against the capital. The project itself would be a benevolent initiative, even if quite misguided, had it not been connected with mass murder of people coming into or trying to leave Moscow, as well as anyone and everyone learning anything about it. Anna and I were captured by their patrol after we saw the Aurora entering the city perimeter, and just for that terrible crime, I was put to the gun. Anna's agony at the moment is something I will not forgive them for as long as I live. Wow. So we also have uh, creature information here. Watchmen, demons, dogs. Wow. This is incredible. Different uh, pieces of equipment. And a different uh, write-up for each weapon that we... I guess everything we run into. 
cool. That's very neat. I like that a lot. You still hold on to life? I'm done for, my friend. But at least I died protecting my friends. <laughs> Shut up, you fool. By the way, Uncle Sam, your <laughs> command of Russian is quite good. I love that they call him Uncle Sam. Another 40 years or so, and you'd go completely native. Isn't it confusing now, though? If your California is still around, you became a Russian for nothing. <laughs> By the way, if we meet the occupying forces, whose side will you be on, Sam? Ours or theirs? Not funny, but if the war is still not over, does that make us enemies? Nah, that's not what I meant. The colonel told me to stop smoking shroom, but <laughs> isn't a pipe of peace an exception? Wow. Eh? <laughs> I wish we could smoke one in California, my man. That would be so much fun. <laughs> I love Do this. I don't know, really, but I got used to it. And now I learned my folks might be alive, and I'm in a daze. I see. I wonder how he got over here, like, what was the circumstances? What I meant was, even though you're an American, you're our man! I'm a Spartan, Alyosha. Hmm. Now and forever. You're a Spartan, too. This is what we are now. I wonder what they think of me at this Supreme HQ, though. Ah, drop it. We'll all stand with you, like with Anna and Artyom, like when the Colonel protected you from that crowd. Yeah, there were women and old guys and kids. They all wanted it. I didn't even want to resist, even though I was younger and stronger back then. So, we're going to the Urals. I'd love to see San Diego, though. Even in a dream. There's this uh, little whorehouse on its red boy of our station I'd like to see. Even if it was just in a dream. Look, I'll catch some shut eye if you don't mind. <laughs> of course. Get some sleep. Yeah. Besides, uh, what are you aiming at? Dream, it's definitely cheaper. <laughs> These guys are all so unique, I love it. What is this? Okay, survey report. Head of Shield Project Railroad Development. Uh, railway State Survey Report. Having conducted the Railway State Survey as per your order, I can report that beyond the defense perimeter, the railway is in condition ranging from acceptable to good, thus presenting a security threat by providing a convenient way for the enemy to transport and supply their agents. On the other hand, within defense perimeter, the railway is worn down beyond acceptable state, which could lead to complete halt of train movement along the most used lines in the nearest future, putting defensibility of Moscow in grave danger by disrupting our lines of supply and reinforcement transportation. Considering aforementioned, I hereby request that all available maintenance crews are sent to work on repairing the most damaged sections of the critically important lines using the rails and cross ties from the lines beyond the 101 kilometer mark from the center of Moscow. Thus, at the same time, effectively denying the enemy the use of the railways leading into the city. Deputy Head of the Special Committee, Bondarenko. Hello there, Artyom. Hey. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. Yes, I've you noticed. I remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You cool. can count on us. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah. It is kind of cramped in here. Yeah, you got that right. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. Okay. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. I like the way you think. Keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. Ah, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but <laughs> we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. 
You'll get them back in their best shape ever. Don't you doubt. That's awesome. Uh, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing. So unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. Got it. And the weapons, they are like girls. <laughs> they need attention. Anything else, Tokarev? Well, you oil it, you check the ammo. Because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well. I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. I feel like half of his statements are euphemisms for other things. Well, hello there. Oh, Duke's down here working hard. The people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. Oh, I, I can help him. Was a better name. <laughs> Take a break. Cool. Well, help yourself. Yeah, I feel you. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's the winter. <laughs> if only you didn't have to pay for this comfort later. With your whole body aching. Does everybody take turns doing this? Well, it's not a lie. I do feel this calm, you see. You do what says it's a dynamic meditation. That philosopher doesn't come here to meditate <laughs> No, I can't imagine he does. That's all? <laughs> okay, I'll take it from here. Alright, man. And I think just Miller is left. What's done is done. Yes. I oh, look at that. Going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. Yes, I didn't tell you you're not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. And not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? Oh. I've been granted clearance only after a fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You're a goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember he really likes us. What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no <laughs> deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Means that we, like a runner, retreat. I imagine he would feel the same way, though, if roles were reversed. And don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? Understood. I hope I am. And anyway, at least now we know where to run. So go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. Well, great chat. Thanks. Great chat. All right. I think what we'll do is uh, take a break here. I hope you guys enjoy this type of stuff. I don't know how often it happens, but... Uh, oh, he just slammed the door. Oh, he's inside. Okay. Uh, we just learned a lot about each individual, which is super helpful. And uh, we'll maybe guide some decisions in the future. We'll see. But thank you guys so much. We'll, uh, we'll stop here, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.